In a deep dive of one of Webb's landmark initial images, scientists have uncovered hundreds of powerful jets and outflows from young stars that had been hidden by dust clouds. With this discovery, scientists will be able to learn more about how stars like our Sun are made, and how the radiation from nearby massive stars might influence the formation of planets. Long have astronomers been fascinated by the cosmic cliffs, an area at the edge of a massive gaseous cavity inside the star cluster NGC 3324. Although NGC 3324 has been extensively investigated by the Hubble Space Telescope, many aspects of its star creation remain hidden at optical wavelengths. Webb is designed to detect jets and outflows, which are only visible in the infrared at high resolution, making it ideal for extracting these long-sought details. Thanks to Webb, scientists can also monitor the movement of other features, first seen by Hubble. In recent years, astronomers have uncovered over a dozen previously unreported molecular hydrogen outflows from very young stars by studying data from a particular wavelength of infrared light, 4.7 microns. Webb's observations revealed a variety of things, ranging from tiny fountains to burbling behemoths that extend light years from forming stars. It is likely that many of these protostars will eventually evolve into low mass stars like our Sun. Scientists recognize that Webb provides a window into the past, allowing them to examine how active star formation is in a region of the universe that may be more common than previously thought. Molecular hydrogen is an effective tracer of these early phases of star formation, and is an essential element in the creation of new stars. Most newborn stars, after accumulating matter from the surrounding gas and dust, send some of it hurling out in jets and outflows from their poles. These jets then blast through the landscape like snowplows. Webb's observations show that molecular hydrogen is being swept up and energized by these jets. Prior studies of jets and outflows focus mostly on neighboring areas and objects that are already visible in Hubble's visible spectrum. Webb's extraordinary sensitivity enables studies of more distant locations, while its infrared optimization penetrates into the dust sampling younger phases. Taken together, this gives scientists a window into conditions eerily similar to those that existed when the Sun was first formed. The new Webb data is also helping astronomers learn how busy these star-forming areas are, even over short periods of time. Scientists were able to determine the speed and direction of the jets by comparing the location of outflows in this area acquired by Webb to archived data from Hubble from 16 years ago. These studies relied on data obtained by Webb's early release observations program. In December of 2022, the article appeared in the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society. That's all for now. Make sure you don't miss any updates by subscribing to the channel. Also, don't forget to check the previous videos, and for up-to-the-minute updates, visit the website www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.